Police say that this woman is giving them several different reasons as to why and how she set this fire. Now, ultimately, investigators believe she set the fire, left, came back to the scene three hours later and was visibly upset, and that's when they took her in for questioning. Pittsburgh police say 42-year-old Latoya Lyerly intentionally set fire to this house in Homewood, which was being used as a boarding house. Lyerly tells police she's been living on the first floor for three weeks, but she doesn't have any money, so she cooked and cleaned for the owner. She says she was working for the owner Tuesday night when they got into an argument about her radio being too loud, telling police the argument became heated, and she said she was going to burn the expletive house down. By 6.20 the next morning, fire alarms went off at the neighboring home. It was a hard fight. Crews worked to keep the fire from spreading, but once inside, they found two men dead on the second floor, a third man deceased on the top floor. Police identify the victims as 56-year-old Calvin Turner, 68-year-old Gerald Johnson, and Darlin Vance, whose age has not yet been released. Neighbors say the owner here offered several long-term boarding rooms to those in need. She was helping homeless people. It's cold out here. And Lyerly was one of those people. In an interview with investigators, she first denied setting the fire and then said it was accidental. But when asked again, she said the house was, quote, filled with demons. And she began hearing voices telling her to carry out her mission. She admitted to lighting paper coffee strainers on fire, setting them on furniture, and then locking the door and walking away. The medical examiner's office says that the men who were killed died of smoke inhalation and burns to their bodies. Right now, Lyerly is in the Allegheny County Jail awaiting arraignment on several charges, including homicide and arson. Reporting live, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. I